this week has been the best week so far as far as pregnancy symptoms go. Best week ever. <music> How's it going? So today I am nine weeks pregnant and baby is the size of a grape, in case you can't read that. <laughs> this week has been the best week so far as far as pregnancy symptoms go. Best week ever. There has however been one small little downside. Good things first though. I have no nausea at all. It is completely gone. Even if I'm hungry, it is still not there. I'm so happy. <laughs> I hate that pregnancy symptom. It is just not fun at all. And another bonus, I have never thrown up. With Carly and Kinley, I threw up. With Carly, I think I threw up for like a week straight. And Kinley, I was so sick, I lost eight pounds and I had zero appetite. I've said this before, but this baby, I got nausea. I was sick up until this week and it's gone and I never threw up. So happy. Can't even begin to describe to you guys how happy I am. <laughs> I'm not craving anything weird this week at all. I'm still craving pineapple. So much pineapple. I have like three cans in my cabinet and <laughs> I'm ready to eat them all. <laughs> Heartburn hasn't been too bad. I only get it at night and even then it's only every now and then. I think I've only had it like twice this week, I think. And that's it. So that's also a plus. The extreme pregnancy fatigue still has not hit me. And at this point, I really don't think it's going to. <laughs> I'm just counting my lucky stars and I'm counting myself really lucky that I've not experienced it this time around. And I'm really happy about that as well. I've not been bloated this week. Actually, I've lost a pound. Last week I was 153. This week I'm 152 and I'm not as bloated. But even then, I can't fit into my pre-pregnancy jeans but I also can't fit into the maternity pants that I had whenever I was pregnant with Carly and Kenley. Actually, they're really big on me. Uh, then again, when I was pregnant with both of them, I was about 40 pounds heavier than I am right now. So that really probably comes into a factor. And I just told Devin not long ago that I might have to buy brand new maternity jeans because I, I wore the ones that I had with the girls and oh man, they're just so big and they're big like around underneath my belly not the stretchy band the stretchy band's really big too like it can go up to my boobs it's it's big um but the bottom part of the jeans are really big too and they have a lot of room and i'm like i can't believe i used to be this big <laughs> i really have lost a lot of weight I and mean, i'm grateful for it but all of my clothes now are huge and i have to buy new maternity pants i will probably buy them really cheap somewhere in like a size large which is probably where i'm at but i'm kind of in that in-between place where my pre-pregnancy jeans don't fit and my maternity pants won't fit so I'm um you all you all don't know this but after I lost about I think it was 20 pounds 15 something like that after I had Kenley I was in an in-between place so I bought a bunch of size like 11s my pre-pregnancy jeans were a 910 so now I'm in a size 11 12 and they fit me pretty good I'm trying to delay maternity jeans as long as I can because I'm not really there yet. I have I don't really have a belly and there's not really much to put in it. So I bet I could delay it for a, a couple more weeks at least. Um, I didn't start showing with Kenley until I was about 12 weeks and Carly when I was 14. So I'm guessing probably somewhere in there is when I might have to retire the 11-12 jeans that I have and just buy me some maternity jeans. Something that I noticed this week that has been a little bit of a problem, uh, when I bend down to shave my legs now, my sciatic nerve seizes up and it hurts for me to, you know, stand back up and stretch that out. But it's not so bad as it is whenever you're really heavy pregnant, like nine months. And it's not that bad. But um, if I bend down too long in that position to shave my legs, it, it, it gets a little crampy and it seizes up a little bit and it's not comfortable to stand back up. But it's not the end of the world. I don't shave my legs every single day. So, I mean, it's not like the worst symptom. Right, not right now at least. Just wait. Just wait, guys. When I'm much further along, you'll hear me complain a lot about my sciatic nerve. I did with Kenley anyway. With Kenley, it killed me. The thing that has been killing me the most this week, though, is sleeping. As in, I'm getting none. Like, None, none. I go to bed every night, doesn't matter how tired I am, somewhere around 2.30 in the morning, and I wake up, well, it's been varying this week. One night I woke up at like 3.30, I kid you not, and I was wide awake. Like, you would have thought that I had slept eight plus hours, and I really hadn't. It was like an hour, hour and a half, and I was wide awake, and I stayed awake for like a couple of hours, and I could not fall back asleep. 
Another night it was like 4, another night it was like 5.30. But I always, always wake up somewhere between 5 and 5.30 and then I'm up and down all the time until about 9 or 9.30 and then I'm up for the day. So I'm not sleeping which stinks and I am fatigued during the day but it's not so bad that I'm like oh my gosh I can't wait until the girls go down for a nap so I can nap too it's not like that it's kind of the same as like anybody would be if you weren't sleeping very good it's kind of like that so I say I'm fatigued because I am I'm tired because I'm not sleeping at night but I'm not like extreme fatigue like the pregnancy kind it's kind of like that weird in-between place I guess I will probably sleep better in my second trimester so I'm just kind of waiting for it <laughs> Devin and I are still debating on baby names. We don't have a whole lot of ideas right now, and I'm not going to tell you guys what our baby names are because when we announce the gender of this baby, we're also going to do a name reveal. So those two things will be together, and I can't wait to do it because the idea in my head is so cute. But anyway, that's not for a couple more months. But anywho, we are debating on a couple of names. We have our girl name, her first name, definitely picked out. We both love it, and... That is the only thing that we have. <laughs> we have no middle name for a girl. We have no first name for a boy or middle name for a boy. We have, we have nothing right now. We're trying to find something that starts with a D for a boy because both of the girls have names that start with a K, which is like me. So we would like for our son to have a D name like daddy, but it's really hard to find one because a lot of the good boy names that start with a D are already taken in our family, like Daniel and Dylan and I really like the name David but Devin doesn't and I really like the name Dane too but Devin doesn't and it's just been really hard to like find a good um, D name that we both like. He's suggested a couple of names that I was, really wasn't fond of. This has just been like challenging trying to find a boy name that starts with a D that we both like that isn't already taken in our family. So <laughs> I'm sure we will get there by the time that we announce the gender and the name. But right now we're having some trouble figuring out what we want to do. If you have suggestions for names that start with the letter D, comment them down below. I will certainly look at them because we need ideas. <laughs> This vlog isn't going to be very long because I don't have a whole lot of symptoms to share with you guys this week because it's been a really good week for me. And there hasn't really been anything new going on in any other area. So I'm going to go ahead and say this while we're already here. If you've seen my latest collab that I did a few days ago, if you haven't, I will link it down below. I said that I was doing a new Cooking with Carly episode in two days and I really want to apologize to you guys. I filmed it, I edited it, and I went to go upload it and my internet hates me. It just decided, just all of a sudden, that it hates me and it just wouldn't upload it. And I tried for two days. I tried all day Wednesday and all day Thursday to upload this video and it would not do it. So I'm really sorry you guys. I'm really sorry that my channel hasn't been as active this week and normally would be because I also had a vlog that I was going to do Thursday that I now can't do and I'm really sorry about that. It's just my internet decided to hate me this week. But I just wanted you all to know that that's what was going on. Usually when I say I'm going to do something, I do it. But I'm going to make up for it because we have a very fun weekend that's coming up. And there's going to be a lot of videos uploaded to my channel. So I am making up for it. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and do a belly shot for this week. Although there isn't really much change <laughs> at all. With the girls, I didn't even start taking weekly photos until I was 10 weeks. Because my body doesn't change until after that. This is actually the most pictures that I've taken this early in the stage ever. But I'm doing vlogs and I want to keep you guys updated. So... I will do a belly shot. So this is where I am at nine weeks. Really not much has changed. Actually, I've lost a pound, so, and I don't feel as bloated, so there's really not much there. <laughs> and baby is really tiny still, just the size of a grape. I will probably explode like I normally do, so at like 12 to 14-ish weeks, suddenly I'll have a belly. <laughs> but right now, not so much. Hi, baby. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please be on the lookout for the vlogs that are coming really soon for this weekend. And if nothing else, I will see you guys next week where I will be 10 weeks. Bye.